Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a product review on the Maestro Stainless Steel Electric Wine Opener and Digital Thermometer by Ozeri. And this is actually the product right here. Okay. So it came in this box. Alright. And for those of you guys that don't know, this is actually the first rechargeable electric wine opener with an infrared thermometer and digital LCD screen. Uh, this product did not just come out this year. It's actually been out for over a year. Um, I thought it was pretty awesome because I, I was like, I've seen other ones like it on the market, but I had no clue that they were actually uh, the first. Um, so in that box um, came this box. It's like a little black gift box. And all the stuff came in here. So this is pretty awesome if you want to go ahead and, and um, you don't want to just store it upright uh, in your cabinet or, or wine area if you just want to put your stuff back in the box. Um, that's really good for people who only take this out if they're having wine parties or guests over. Um, I have wine all the time. So this stays out all the time or it will stay out all the time. All right. So anyway... This right here, it's currently charging, okay, but I'm actually going to show you guys uh, how this works because it actually has two, ba two batteries, so. All right, so as you guys can see here, these blue lights right here is, uh, shows that it's charging. Now, if I take this off, you're going to see two blue lights. It means it has two bars of battery. Uh, if you see right here, this is actually the temperature. Now this is showing the temperature of the home. Of course, I don't have a bottle of wine. So um, as you guys can see, it's ranging from about like 67 to 68 degrees in my house. These buttons right here, this is to operate the, the um, wine opener. Uh, down, you're going to push this down into the wine bottle. And when you hear this stop, the motor stop working, that means it's all the way in and it's ready to be pulled out. And you're going to pull, um, push the up button for it to come out. Okay. Uh, on the back here, it also comes with a foil cutter. Okay. An excellent foil cutter. And I like the fact that you can just store it in the back um, like that. So we're just going to go ahead, oh, and by the way, this is the sensor. I forgot to tell you guys, this right here is the little sensor up here, okay? And then here, as you guys can see, that's where the cork is. All right. So we're going to test this with um, this lovely bottle of Arabella 2015 Chardonnay. Um, this is actually one of my favorite bottles of wine. Now, I do want to say um, there are going to be some times where it's very difficult to open the bottle of wine, even if you follow the directions, uh, you know, to the T, even if you're a pro at using this. All corks are different. For example, I opened a bottle of Rosatello. Um, I tried to open a bottle of Rosatello um, before, and as you guys can see, what happened, okay? And I've been using wine openers for some time now, um, so... Like I said, all, you know, uh, corks are going to be different. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this works with this, okay? So I'm going to take this off the stand, okay? Now, one thing you want to make sure is that you keep this, let me go up a little bit, that you keep this very sturdy. You do not want this leaning to the left or the right. It's going to happen, but you want to make sure you have a firm hand on this because it will jiggle and, and wiggle and everything, okay? So what I normally do is I hold the bottle of wine like this, and then I hold this down, okay? I'm going to place this here. Usually when I feel it pull, I kind of stop and then just press it down a little bit. You can see it's wiggling. Now, as you see, I push this button right here. It's not um, the motor stopped. That means it's all the way in the cork and it's ready to come out. Do you see that in there? That's the cork. See that? Bottle of wine has been opened. Now, when you want to release the cork, all you have to do is press the down button. Come on. Oh, sorry, the up button. <laughs> and it is releasing. Boom, that's it. Put it back on your uh, charger. Now, I actually do this um, with my 
um, other Azuri wand opener. Every time I finish using it, I put it back on the charger. It just makes the battery last longer. I use it often, so I do have to charge it more often than somebody who may only use it once a month. Now, the good thing about this is you see it's currently on. After 20 seconds, it's going to shut off, and that's to save and preserve your battery, which I think is awesome, okay? Um, so yeah, anyway, in 20 seconds, you should see this shut off. Actually, it's charging, so you won't see that, most likely. You may or may not. I'm not sure if it has a, uh, makes a difference yet. But anyway, so like I said, my wine is open. I can drink my bottle of wine. The cork came out perfectly, as you can see. Perfect hole. Okay. So um, that is the review of the uh, stainless steel Ozeri um, wine opener and digital thermometer. I think it, it, it works perfect. Now I'm going to say sometimes it's going to take, as you guys can see, it just turned off. Um, it's reserving the battery. But um, one thing I do have to say is that uh, when you get this, don't expect to be a pro at it if you've never used one of these. It actually took a few bottles of wine, uh, using, getting, trying to use a few bottles of wine to get to learn uh, how this really works, at least the previous one I owned. Um, like I said, you want to make sure that you hold that bottle still. You want to hold this nice and firm. Uh, you don't want it tilting to the left or right, back or front. Um, that's when you end up, um, now of course, like I said, this was just a thicker one, but you can end up with uh, pieces of cork in your wine if you're not folding this down properly. Um, anyway, so as you guys can see, it works perfectly. There was no hiccups, no nothing, worked just as, as stated. Um, it also comes with two user manuals. There's one in English and there's one in Spanish. Uh, everything that you need to know, you can refer back uh, to this um, manual. It tells you how to use the flow cutter correctly. It tells you how to use um, this. Now, like I said, holding it firm, it really doesn't um, focus on that, but that's just from my experience, uh, you know, using one of these for the first time. Um, anyway, gives you some information about wine bottle temperature measurements and stuff like that. Um, so there's a lot of information in here that's, that's pretty good. All right, guys. Well, that is my review. Like I said, um, Azari has awesome products. Uh, you can purchase this on Amazon. I will put the link uh, put the link down at the bottom of this video um, where you can purchase it. Um, and I mean, it's it's really not expensive. They have their their stuff is quality, but it's not overpriced. Uh, there's a lot of products out there that's <laughs> really really expensive and don't work half as good as this or sometimes they work just as good and uh, so a lot of times you're just paying for a name i think the azari uh azari brand is high quality so um i definitely buy their products so um what else what else what else do i have to say do, 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 do. um but anyway i think that's about it i'm actually going to continue to charge this um, when you first get your product you want to make sure to charge it for at least 12 hours that's what it says in the book um, to charge it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue charging this. I only took it off so I can um, demonstrate how to use it for you guys, okay? Alright, well anyway, that is the end of my video. If you guys have any questions uh, about the thermometer, feel free to ask me and stay tuned for more reviews. Bye!